Hello everyone, Teacher Gaming. Welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing this playthrough in Song of Conquest, and we are pl uh, on our champion wielder Murakoth, and with our undead only army, and we are about to take down this Ar uh, body of Arleon troops. That is fair. And up here we have another player who is the goal for this video. So let's jump into it. Manual battle. Um. Let's try to stack up. Perhaps we can do it like this. There we go. Gonna do a manual battle. Just because we wanna reserve our troops as much as possible. Uh, we do not want to sacrifice anything. We have max initiative, so... Uh, let's actually move him up here. There we go. Eight destruction says it's pretty good. Okay, not a bad movement, honestly. So these are pretty glass cannon. So let's take them down. This would remove the retaliation, which is pretty nice. The movement is free, so. I could technically push him back. Hmm. Let's see the spells. Currently have eight, so I... If I push him back... And he cannot get anywhere. So we go and do this first. And we're gonna... Gonna push him away. And we're gonna do this. We're almost there. This is fine. Cast another destruction. There we go. Basically no losses. So, these kind of battles really about min-maxing, so... Looking at what can you do, who can you get here. We sacrificed some uh, oath bounds to make sure we didn't take an actual hit. Now what do we want here? Troop movement is good, but I actually want more here. Um, and that is simply just so we can do more of this, because now we are at a point in time where we actually want to have a big army. So basically the castle is up here, the town. And over here we have a, have a lot of stuff that we can grab. Now this wielder here Anything we can take that we haven't already gone for. Um, 
Let's actually move over here then. Just so we can recruit the following turn and move up. Now what I really want to have is actually be able to unlock. Because as you can see here, sadly all of these are glimmerware. But I do have some here that I can probably use. Celestial ore, and if not, then I can just sell it. Let's see here. There's something over here. Uh, ancient Abba, I don't need that. This one would be nice. I can go that one up max. And then here, this is actually the good one. This is what I can use my Celestial ore for. More destruction, so I can actually boost up everything so much faster. And here we need um, just Ancient Amber, which we do have a good amount of, so... Let's end the turn. So by moving our last build over, that means I can recruit some legions, move up, and hopefully have them in the stack for this following turn. I can recruit two or three maybe, depending on if I sell anything. And again, we are down to only seven factions, because the other barony of Loth has been killed. Now we are all uh, individuals. It's AI, and again, it's challenging. So let's see what shows up. Okay, that is actually very interesting that he doesn't do that. Could I sell anything? So we go up to 7,000 because that would be one full stack. Uh, let's actually go ahead and overcheck the marketplace. I could sell some celestial ore. We're going to open this up just so we can go over and explore, grab some stuff, and hopefully we can find something that's good. Now this is the upgraded one. How much initiative? Kinda did that for the momentum. Now we lost two. Does suck a little bit. So we'll do this here. Oh, even more gold. Thank you very much. You know what, then we're going to do this. There we go.
just wanted to double check here. So now I feel a little bit more um, confident about taking this fight. Also because if we actually do go ahead and take a look at our um, troops. Here we go. Let's go draft. Now we do have a little bit left to replenish if we need, but I don't think we need to. Okay, so that is risky. Interesting. So I definitely do not want to be fighting him. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> okay, so this is really unlucky. I've just opened up the map. And now I have to contend on two funds. This should be interesting. Glimmer where I don't mind if I do. Knowledge, not bad. I want more movement, thank you. Um, great sword. I'm assuming that is one hand. Yeah, it is. So, Arcana is pretty good. So we want to make Vish the next one. Okay. Symbol. And insignificant. Shaman crawlers to lose. You know what? Maybe when they get closer we can defend it. That one is definitely gone. So I don't think we're gonna be taking this fight because there's a guy here and I don't know what he have, but I would assume it gets added and a risky with the defender buff, we are not gonna take that. So we're actually gonna move away. I think I'll be okay with finding him out in the open. That was 900 gold down the drain. Okay, so we have a big fight here. Let's see. Basically, okay, so. The sappers, they need to reload. They can all reach me. But they cannot get in deadly. So. Hmm. Okay, let's go in and see if we can do this. This might be a short uh, playthrough. Now this is the weirdest part for me that I have to remember to look over here.
Okay, I need to read the spells here to make sure. A bolt of freeze and a surrounding hexes. But the problem is they have spell resistance on. Um Um, what do I want to do here? I have a lot of... Arcana. I have a lot of creation as well. But I don't have any spells unlocked. Um... Order and Chaos. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's mine up here. Who the hell is generating chaos for me? Ah, tribute to chaos, okay. See, this is the issue. For me, th this is uh, taking a little bit of time getting used to. Um... Wow, he's playing really defensive here. That acid cloud is a really good one. Holy crap. Boiling blood. Um, okay, let's go in here. We're starting by breaking all their defense. And let's see, what else can we do? I don't want minus 25 defense. That's actually pr not that good. This, however, could be good for someone. But first, let's see. He's actually having pretty decent damage. But he doesn't have that much defense. That was a little bit unlucky if you ask me. Okay, they got momentum f for th from that. Didn't really plan to have that happening. Whoops, not that.
from the looks of it, it looks like I, I can go in there. Uh -huh. So this works. Do I have anything left? Um... Okay, the fact that he decides to go up and defend that sapper is fine by me. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to defend him. Because that's my biggest one. Now they do hurt me a little bit. But it could be worse. Let's go ahead and decrease that. There we go. That's less for them. Burst of strength. See, do we have a kill range now? afterwards and that is only that which it's costing here we go okay I don't know why it's asking me to do that Ooh, there we go. We got the attack off. Th that one is massive. And to be fair, I didn't lose as much as I had expected to lose in this one. Because we're still having... Like... Blessed Bones. I only lost three of them. Now, yes, I did almost lose all my Seneschals. But the fact that I still have two big stacks. And we got a shield that's not bad. It does hinder some movement, but... We can live with that because we got boots. Here we go. I would like to actually have... Yeah, this is Arcana. I think we wanna... Because we generate so much Arcana anyways... 
Um, like, we know we want some seneschals, so I don't mind unlocking that because here this would be uh, replaced and I don't need another command at the moment. So we're actually going to go with this tier 2. Holy moly, this is actually pretty huge. Um, Okay, what would he actually have? Oh, can I see this on my own? He's probably built some turrets and some walls. Okay, this is really the issue. What does a wise man do here? It says symbol. I'm actually gonna save this. But you know what? Um, if we don't attempt. They have a horde of militia. Okay, so first off. Now they are the fastest ones. Let's go ahead and do this. This should be really interesting. He's really playing defend. That was kind of to be expected. Okay, I got an achievement for that. So, Arcana can definitely be rewarding. Oh, that was very good. Very, very good. How much health does it have? Now I hope I don't lose my main town for this. Honestly, I expected to do something along like this. Now if I can if I occupy it I will get a lot of gold and I would really like that. But I think you know what we're gonna be greedy and we're gonna go with a conversion here.
Now, what do we have here? Fell cross. He has a barracks. He has some interesting stuff. I was about to say, don't I have a mausoleum already? Oh, I could actually... I could build more? I did not realize that. So if I had a crypt... Okay, this is also really interesting actually. Because I am converting this town up here, I don't have it yet, but so I am over my wielder force limit because I've already lost this one. This is actually really interesting that you need to have this done first. Oh. Interesting. He actually did have one uh, left. No, High Chief of the Fae. I do want to play Fae as well. But that's Rangers and it's a uh, and it's horned one, so they aren't th that big of an issue. Um, let's see, how fast could you get down here? Okay, that's actually a little bit too late. only good thing is that, that I have my legion because that's a pretty tough one to kill now the enemy does have range so these ones get back home so we'll see how it goes now they have already moved so I cannot see them that is positive honestly Ooh, and now we can actually see everything. So there's a learner, there's a lumber camp. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's a waterfall. There, there is a small sedim settlement over here. Okay, good to know. So, well, that definitely means that is something we have to be on the lookout for. Um... I'm actually going to build a guard tower. Because I did not expect them to open up the map as soon as they did over there. Um. Oh, so he can recruit rangers up there, I believe. Um. We're actually going to go with the seneschals. So... Oh my god, I was almost about to be really, really nervous. It's a item I can collect. I thought it was banner form. Um, the Baraya factions down here, so... I think
think they're just standing there at the moment. Oh yeah, that's good because the, he's converting. That means he's also stuck there. So that means I can actually really um, buff up my own defenses. This is also why Baron Aldous, we're sending him up here so we can actually grab some stuff. Now. Here they are. New wielder from them. have the garrison and I have my wielder up here so the fact that one is insignificant is really good for me and I just need two more turns let's see what this one is okay that was just basic XP sure why not Oh. So green was over here. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe green was the ones who took out the Barony of Loth. There we go. Definitely gonna build walls after this because um, this one has been a little bit of a tense situation. Now let's see what happens. Do they attempt to fight me? They don't. Oh, this is very good. Now the only question is, can I sally out and kill? Because if I can do that, this will be... Whew. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so they probably have a little town over here. Because we can see they are building. And they probably also have something this way. At least that's what I assume. And I know I'm to be careful with assuming. Visited by enemy. I love the graphics here. Now, let's see. Risky. Okay, I am not gonna sally out then. And we are just <laughs> generating s as much as possible. Um, one more. And then we can head out. Ideally, I would actually like to swap them around. Because they are pretty, pretty be beat. So I want to secure this area here. And then I, of course, want to retake down here. But... I will cut it here and then I'll see you in the next part.